Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of That Forza Car Show. Now today I'm joined back by the, I'd say heavily requested, but I think there's been about two comments for people asking him back. It's Sam, ladies and gentlemen. Hi. That, wow, wow, I give you that big intro and, and you just reply with that. People know me. That's true actually. Yes, so today we're going to be doing um, some more challenges on Forza Motorsport 7. Two weeks ago, we did the cheap car challenge, and today we're going to be doing some super saloons for a budget of a hundred thousand credits. And as you can see here, this is a Maserati Ghibli, which is out of our price range. So Sam and I, we're going to go away, and we're going to see what we believe. I really don't know what we're buying. We're I, well, it's just going to be a sedan saloon car. We're just going to try and find a car that's cool with five doors and a big boot. It's literally it with a budget of a hundred thousand credits. So, the car I decided to pick in the end was a Holden, specifically the HSV W427. Yeah, I don't know what that means either, but this car cost me 75,000 of my credits, which meant I had a quarter of my budget left to play about with upgrades. So, in the end, I managed to get this to about, well, actually, I got a bang on B Class 600 with 503 brake horsepowers. But let's see what car Sam decided to go with. And Sam's gone for... He's gone for a Volvo! He's an old man! Swedish, safe, fast, four-wheel drive. Yeah, I, I haven't done that. I'm, I'm, I'm the yob businessman. <laughs> I'm very... Yeah, quite a... Um, g'day, mate, that kind of thing. Yeah, my suit's kind of like... like I'd imagine it to be a gay pride suit with like a spinning bow tie and like a flower that squids water at you. That's my kind of business. A clown business. Uh, yeah, that's what <laughs> Uh, right, so we've come to Hockenheim, because it's very German, very businessman-esque. Yes. Uh, for our first challenge, Sam, we're going to do a lap of Hockenheim. Fastest time wins. Easy. But, because we're businessmen, oh. we have to stop for 10 seconds doing oh. our lap to straighten out our ties, or in my case, my bow tie and squirty flower. Yeah, top it up. Yeah, I, I need to do that. So you can stop at the start and wait 10 seconds as a penalty, or you can do the entire lap. You can stop back at the starting line and then cross the line afterwards. You have to have a 10 second penalty at some point. Cool. Okay, so we will go when the timer reaches 1 minute 10. And I will do a countdown for the match. 3, 2, 1, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so we're both doing the 10 second start at the beginning. Okay, yeah. and go! To hell with the clutch. Yeah, look at that four wheel drive. Oh, it's not the lead. Something I could do. Oh, shit, I've got ABS off as well. Oh. I went wide a bit. How much horsepower do you have? I have no idea. I have 503! Okay, yeah, you definitely do have more power than me. Oh, I bet you wish you took the head start. <laughs> Even no. though it probably wouldn't have been. Oh, shit. No, I've locked up. Oh, no. Nightmare. Nightmare. Nightmare, turn in. Ah. I'm... Uh, that was the worst corner. No! Neck and neck. The bloody Volvo's gaining on me. No, you're not. And turning in. <laughs> okay, you're a bit sliding. Oh! Turning in. Okay, this thing's very tail happy. This thing's too slow. Oh, oh I'm bugging it. I'm not white. Probably took your there line is. there. It's bad. Oh, we've got the little S chicane kind of thing coming up. Turn in, you turd! Fuck it! Stepping out! I don't like it, it's cool. It's very fun! But not very oh businessman! Oh my god! What's he doing? No! 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 Oh, I've got the inside! Oh, I've got him! Come on! Use the powers! Oh, yes! Oh no! That was much closer than I thought it would be. That uh, ABS off as well. Right. I'm. Uh, that gives me a bit of confidence actually for our next challenge because it's time to go to the drag strip. Okay, so because um, drag strips are on a thing online. Uh -oh. Forza, please, please add that. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to do another race, but this time around the short circuit of Hockenheim. Hockenheim legs. Hockenheim legs. Yeah. And what we'll have to do is drive back to the starting line every time we complete a certain percentage of the track. Raymond, if you're watching this, totally not your idea. So what we'll say is the second corner at the top right of the leg. Oh, yeah. 
that's 25%. Right. Uh, then when you get to the bottom of the right trouser leg, that's yeah. that that's 50%. Yeah. And when then... you get to the end of the, the like the essy bit, that's 75, and then so on and so forth. Three, two, one, go! Oh, the Momo four-wheel drive. It's got the launch, but I got the power. Although he's got the inside line. Damn it! Sit around. Oh, look at that, synchronized. I kept it in second gear so I get the revs down lower. Stop pushing <laughs> me off the track. Okay, oh, I just went to break. Oh, oh there's a wall there. there. Oh. Right. Break. Okay, it went a bit far. Yes. Yes. Go, come on. Oh, get some grip, you nonce. There we go. Okay. Right. Turn again. Just over the German flag there. Speed! Oh, look at this. And after these green things to our right, that's... I've gone... Ah, bollocks. Turn around. Turn around. Oh, he's got better turns than me, I think. Where is he? Oh, there... he's on the sodding grass! Run across. Oh, my God. Right. My power's gonna come into play. <laughs> Still there. Oh, I'm right behind you. This turns a killer if you get it wrong. Which I've I done! I oh. Oh. <laughs> and break. Where's the thing? Where's the light? There's the light. Just, just, just literally just cross the line there. Turn around. There we go. Oh, the German flag again. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. yes. I was being no. too oh, cocky. No, I was being too cocky. Come on, you Australian piece of sh... Okay, round, round the, the crotch there's area. There's the green. Yeah. Round the gentleman's penis. And I think... Where's the thing I think we've got more than 75%. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. There's the transfer of tarmac. That That's exactly what I was on about. Whoa. That's what I meant. Yes! It is very Come narrow, on. I see what you mean. It is! One power. Oh, I'm going for a dive! I'm hit, Sam! When did it turn? Is it here? No. Oh, oh no, shit! It's <laughs> He's gone off! Where am I going? Oh, God. Oh, no. Right. no, 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 Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Despite the calamities, it's still <laughs> pretty close. Right. Here we go. That is massively track extending there, Mr. Blythe. So? We've got braking line now. This is definitely going to come in handy. Oh. Go for a dive. Oh, I haven't got the grip. He's cut me off the <laughs> turn. No! Get out of the way! I got him here last time, gonna do it again! Oh, he's gone wide! Oh, no! Don't slide! Not now! Come on! Oh, this is close. Yes! Yes! Uh... Yes! That's a second win for me! Uh -huh. <gasps> Don't break <laughs> that! <laughs> Oh, I, I, you know what? I preferred that to the drag race suicides we were going to do. That was great fun. I like that. Oh, my God. Right. Next challenge. Okay, Sam. So, to prove how cool these bzzz cars are, what we're going to do is we're going to try and drift them. Uh, we've got three laps. We're going to see who can get the most amount of points around one particular corner. It's the uh -huh. crotch kind of region area of Hockenheim. Um, yeah. I don't know what the name of the corner is called. Um, I, I do. It's, it's, it's called Sax. Sax. Sax, yeah. Which is convenient because that's where the ball sack is. <laughs> the ball sack. Okay, so which one of us can get the most amount of points around the ball sack? Yeah. Um, and they will be deemed the winner of this challenge. Um, so we'll, we'll go in like some form of tandem shape uh, and, yeah. and you can go first. Oh, thanks. Right, I'm following Sue. Right, here he goes. Follow behind him. Focus on myself more than him. There he goes. This side's gone. Well. 
I got 1,112. I got 1,153! Okay, so that point goes to you. Yeah. Oh, yes. 1,903. Mm. Sam? Yeah, yeah. How much did you get? <laughs> and, uh, my make or break. Your make or break? <laughs> my make or break? Oh, right. I thought you said my make or I was like, that's a <laughs> serious talk. <laughs> 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 Sam, oh, has he overcooked it? Let me go put the power down. Oh, he's got. Oh shit! Thanks. You bastard! What? You I've drove into someone. me. Yeah. So we have no other choice than to call that a draw. So with the scores at three-one, it seemed clear that the Holden would become the winner. However. It's time for the track battle. Let's see how good these cars are around our test track. And they are off. Now, the Volvo gets a much better start because it's four-wheel drive, as we can see here. Volvo massively in the lead. However, as we come up to the first couple of corners, Holden has gained that back with its brute force, something that the Volvo lacks in. Although it does get a better exit. Okay, coming up to uh, some long right-hander. Don't know what the name of the corner is. It's in French. I tried pronouncing them last time. Didn't go well. Another long left-hander this time as we come up to the two 90-degree right turns, which I'm going to call baguette. Get it? Because it's a French joke. Anyway, both cars looking poised. Brake discs glowing red. Nice entrance there. Back end of the Holden stepping out, as you do. This is where the Holden is going to gain an advantage with all that power. Exiting the back straight as we come up to another little chicane. Both cars ever so planted, although the Volvo does step its back end out once again. Volvo remaining pretty close though as we come into the last corner. Both cars are pretty much neck and neck as we go across the line. Now, the Holden got a lap time of 159.868, and the Volvo a very respectable time of 2 minutes 0 0.099. So there was less than, what, a quarter of a second in there? It's a pretty close lap times uh, comparison. But there we go. The Holden is the overall winner. So there we have it. If you want the best Super Saloon for less than 100,000 credits, go for the Holden. I think that's something that we can all agree on there. But anyway, thank you very much, guys, for watching this edition of That Forza Car Show. Hope to see you guys in the next one. But until then, guys, adios.